Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company. So glad to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. Always great to see our subscribers and you know if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to do so. And after you do so, very important, click that little bell on the right hand side of the subscribe button. Uh, that way you'll get a notification and you won't miss any of our episodes. And today's episode folks, we are boatless and we're going for channel cats. And I've got myself a uh, semi-fresh sucker. It was caught a week and a half ago. Um, we started using it already. I had to put it in the freezer. So I've just taken it out because we, uh, we came out here about a week ago, but it was a bit early and it's still a bit early. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna use cut sucker today as bait. And we're looking for channel cat. And hopefully I can get into one now. It's it's still very, very cold. It's uh, it's April, but I don't know where the spring has been. It's slow to come this year, and that's okay. So I've got myself a decent sized chunk. And what I'm running today, the rig today is a T-turn bait rig. And the hook on the rigs, they come pre-tied with fluorocarbon line. And the hook on the rigs are five odd hooks. So it's a nice size hook. You can see the rig there with a sinker and because I have no ability to cast I've got two options I could cast using the pitching technique like so and cast it out there or because I brought my rubber boots <laughs> boatless angler advantage I can just step out a little bit there we go and now all of a sudden I've got some room to cast so we're gonna get it out there now, because it's cold, and like I say, it is the month of April, patience, patience, patience. Okay, so my line's out there. I've got my, my fishing caddy here. Where's the boatless angler? He would love this, the fishing caddy. It's, uh, it's a nice size pail. It comes with, a, uh, comes with a bucket, a topper, a tackle box on the top. I'm able to put my sinkers and my T-turn bait rigs in there. And then when I want, I take the tackle box off and it comes with a nice padded seat. So this, folks, is fishing in comfort. There's even a couple rod holders here and there's also a holder for my, for my water. So I'm fishing in comfort, but patience is the key. When the water is really cold, the catfish are not moving aggressively. So you have to sit and wait them out. Put your bait out there. After about 15, 20 minutes, change your bait. Get more scent out there because they're gonna slowly, slowly move in on the scent. And uh, hopefully I can attract one or two today. So glad you can join me folks, so stay tuned. It's a gorgeous day and what a better way to spend an afternoon. I've had one biting folks. I picked up the rod ever so slightly. These fish are not really hungry and aggressive. The water's still very cold. There we go. Actually, <laughs> this, feels, this feels like it might be a bullhead because usually now, typically the bite with the bite, the bullheads usually bite first. The channel cat bite usually follows next. So we shall see. It's either a small channel or a nice sized bullhead. He gave me a real slow bite. I'm using a six foot medium action rod and the six foot rod comes in handy when you've got obstacles behind you for casting. A uh, seven foot rod would have been better. But six foot is nice and I'm running a braided line today folks and the braided line is really what's made me feel these bites because it's a really really subtle bite and I could feel everything and I got a nice direct hook set. And then of course the T-turn bait rig comes with 100% fluorocarbon line and a real nice size 5 odd hook and I've got myself a bullhead. That's what I figured when I set the hook. That's a nice size bullhead actually. And he took that bait, that cut bait. But again, a real slow bite. Let's get this guy off. We're gonna get him right back in the water again. Let's see. There we go. I'm gonna change that bait up, put some fresh bait on. But that's not a bad size uh, bullhead right there. Good size bullhead. Get him right back in. 
Boy, they're moving really slow with this cold water. But that's okay, that's a start. So what I'm gonna do, take this bait off. I'm gonna cut myself another piece of fresh, well, semi-fresh sucker, previously frozen sucker, and get my line right back out there again. Okay, we're gonna go right back out there again, and I wanna throw it back out in the same spot. I've been working the same area, scenting up the same area. And I've got a, uh, I went with a smaller piece of cut bait. Get it out there. Because like I said, these fish are not too aggressive. So I've got a smaller piece of cut bait. And I like this 5 aught hook. It's an octopus style hook. And the reason I like the 5 aught hook is you can put your cut bait on there and it still gives you a lot of hook gap for setting the hook. So that comes in real handy. Okay, oh, my fish caddy is tipped over. Too excited from last time. Let's get it back going again. And fish in comfort. I like the swivel seat too, actually, it comes in handy. Okay. Let's see if we can get into another bite. We got another bite going on here, folks, and he's been biting, again, slow. Looks like maybe another bullhead bite. Yes. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it feels a little heavier. If it's a bullhead, it's going to be a nice one. Again, really slow bites and a lot of patience. Uh, you know what? I don't know. It's either going to be a... Uh, it, might be, it might be a... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Just give it up. We'll wait and see. Uh, but if it's a bullhead, it's going to be a decent sized one. And again, they're not fighting very much because the water's so cold, they're barely moving. But that T-turn's going to keep me tangle free, which is nice. As they roll around in the water, and it looks like... What do we got here? Looks like we got another bullhead. Oh, that's a big bullhead. That's a nice... There's a nice size bullhead. Look at that one. Oh, oh, there's a big bullhead right there. You know what? That one's photo worthy. We're going to snap a photo of this for our Facebook and Instagram friends. Let's get a quick photo and we're going to get him right back in the water again. Okay, that's a nice size bullhead and we're going to put him right back in again. Okay, and away he goes. Well, like I said, folks, it's, uh, the bullhead bite actually starts first. And this water is still bitter, bitter cold. It's a late spring, so it looks like I'm going to have to wait for the uh, channel cat bite for another week or so. But that's okay. The cold weather's here. doesn't bother me at all. I'm going to enjoy every minute of it, every opportunity I can. And I hope you do too, folks. I'm going to bait up with another piece of uh, cut bait and uh, continue fishing for bullhead. Thanks ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck.